Hello, this is the Octo Browser team, and in this video, we will tell you how to make your work with Octo even easier by using profile templates. A template is a sample profile for which you can preset parameters that will be used when you create quick or new profiles. Profile templates are available with a base or higher tier subscription, so if you're planning to create and use several templates, be sure to choose the right subscription plan. Templates allow you to preset tags, proxies, extensions, profile icons, and other parameters, and they are used to create profiles later. Templates are used by teams to create quick profiles. This means that if anyone on your team uses a template, it becomes impossible to delete it. Make sure that the templates are not active before deleting them. To create a new template, go to the Templates tab. Click on Create Template. In the basic settings, you should specify the template name in the corresponding field. In the Profile Name field, you can specify the name to be used for each profile created using this template. Once specified, Quick Profiles created with this template will have a name following the pattern Quick plus Profile Name. In our example, this is a quick test. If you choose the Create Profile option, this name will be used as the profile name. Choose an icon for profiles created using the template or use the default icon. It is always a good idea to assign tags to profiles as they help organize profiles and manage team members' access rights. You can also add start pages to your template. This will be open once a profile is started. You can add one or several links to this field using spaces or line breaks. You can add one or several bookmarks to templates exactly as you add start pages. The bookmark name field will show the domain address without specifying the protocol. After a profile is launched, bookmarks won't be displayed on this list but will be immediately available in the Launchpad profile instead. Let's talk about general settings. You will see parameters marked by the Generate sign in the general settings. If you do not provide specific values for these parameters, they will be generated using default values. You can specify the user agent manually, but we strongly recommend keeping the one generated by default. Choose an operating system for your template, macOS Intel, macOS ARM, or Windows. This is a very important step as it is impossible to change the OS in its version after a template has been created and saved. If you need a specific screen resolution, you can set it here. In the drop-down list, you will see a list of screen resolutions most commonly used by real users. The screen resolution sets the maximum window size for a new profile. If the profile resolution is lower than your display resolution, you won't be able to make the profile window size larger than the size you have provided in the settings. Changing screen resolution normally doesn't affect browser fingerprint integrity as the services interpret the action as the user connecting to a new display with a different resolution. You can also configure the language settings of browser profiles in the template. The browser interface language can be changed in the profile settings, and this does not affect spoofing of languages. For user convenience, the browser interface language coincides with the OS language. By default, based on IP is used for the language's setting. If the setting is applied, the external IP address is checked when a profile is launched and the languages corresponding to the external IP address are applied. This means that when you connect a proxy with a certain geolocation, profile languages will correspond to the country of that geolocation. If you select real, the languages will correspond to your local IP address. Additionally, you can set the languages manually with the corresponding setting. The browser profile time zone spoofing can be set separately. As is the case with languages, by default, the time zone will correspond to the geolocation of the connected proxy and will be detected automatically each time a profile starts. The real setting means that the time zone will correspond to your local IP address. Additionally, you can set the time zone manually. Geolocation is configured likewise. Based on IP means that the geolocation will depend on the connected proxy. The longitude and latitude values are randomly generated within a certain radius of the detected geolocation. You can set the geolocation manually, but in this case we recommend choosing a location that corresponds to a real object on the world map. You can also set the geolocation manually or use its real value. 
we recommend using the Based on IP setting to preserve fingerprint consistency and integrity. Let's go to Hardware Settings. Here you can set the number of emulated CPU cores that will be seen by web resources and services when analyzing the browser profile. You can also set the emulated RAM size for the profiles generated using this template. Choose the RAM size from the drop-down list. You can select a size greater than 8 GB. However, JavaScript code methods do not process more than 8 GB of RAM and web resources do not detect greater RAM values. You can also choose a GPU model from the list of renderers available for the selected OS. The next section concerns hardware noise. Hardware noise is automatically set deviations from system values that generate a unique digital fingerprint. By default, only the WebGL setting is turned on, and we recommend using specifically this parameter as some services might negatively react to the presence of hardware noise. The Media Devices settings lets you specify the number of emulated web cameras, speakers, and microphones. Let's go to the Connection settings. Here you can set proxy connections to template-based profiles directly. To do so, click on the Proxy Selection field. Using the drop-down list, you can choose a previously saved proxy or add a new temporary one. You can add several proxies to a template. They will be assigned to the template-based profiles in a random order. The number of proxies you can add to this list is limited by the maximum number of profiles your subscription supports. The WebRTC parameter selects the spoofed data transfer value based on the external or real IP address. By default, based on IP is used and automatically spoofs the IP address using the external IP address of the proxy. Additionally, you can also set a specific DNS server that will be used with the template-based profiles. Here you can configure data storage parameters for the template-based profiles. Here you can turn on and off storing cookies, passwords, extensions, and local storage data. If the local storage setting is turned off, its data will be deleted every time a profile is relaunched, and the services that use the local storages to keep authorization data will ask you to log in with your credentials every time this profile is launched. History enables saving browsing history and bookmarks, allowing saving bookmarks. Service Workers stores web page cache for offline work and some other data. For instance, Telegram stores parts of authorization data using Service Workers. If you do not need to store this data, we recommend turning this setting off as it otherwise leads to bloating of profiles and increased profile synchronization times. Let's go to the Extensions section. Here you can turn on the necessary extensions from the list and they will become available in the profiles generated using this template. Click on Create Template after finishing the template setup process. All done! You have created a new template and can now find it in the templates list where you can see a brief description of template parameters, the number of connected proxies, and the active-inactive toggle. To create a profile using a template, set it to active. Go to the Profiles tab. You can see a menu button next to the Quick Profile button. Click on it and use Template, and then choose Quick Profile. All done! You have created a profile using a template. In the Connection settings, you can see that a proxy has been assigned to the profile randomly from the list. To check all available information about the template-based profile, click on three dots next to the Start button and select Edit Profile. Now when you use the Create Profile function, the active template will be automatically used to create new profiles. In the basic settings, you can choose another template, or choose the No Template option altogether to create a template-independent profile. In this video, you learned how to customize profile templates in Octo Browser. If you have any unanswered questions left, please consult our knowledge base. Subscribe to our channel if this video has been useful, and be sure to follow our social media accounts to be the first to know about Octo Browser news.